You don't need to be a rocket scientist to figure out which member of the Big Bang Theory cast happens to be the richest. Many of these folks were getting paid $1 million per episode. That adds up. Melissa Rauch completed the core cast of The Big Bang Theory and was the last actor to earn a spot in the show's opening credits. She first appeared in a season 3 episode as Bernadette Rostenkowski, a friend of Penny's set up on a blind date with Howard. At first, it doesn't go well, but Bernadette's character eventually grew from fellow Cheesecake Factory waitress to world-class microbiologist. She also eventually worked things out with Howard, and the two got married in one of the show's most memorable moments. <laughs> They all got ordained! They're all marrying us! It's adorable! If you want to hear, come closer! <laughs> because Melissa Rauch joined the show relatively late, she missed out on the per-episode salary, royalties, and profits that most of her castmates would enjoy. So she pulled in a starting salary of about $30,000 an episode, according to Deadline. Just before the start of season 7, the outlet reported she got a contract extension and a raise that doubled her per-episode rate, as well as a clause that bumped that up incrementally to $100,000 over time. In the final two years of Big Bang, Roush brought in the big bucks with a $450,000 per-episode paycheck, according to Variety. Along with starring in outside film projects like The Bronze, which she co-wrote, Melissa and husband Winston Roush also started After January Productions. According to Deadline, the company has a distribution deal with Warner Brothers TV, and the two firms will produce her next series together, a reboot of Night Court. According to Celebrity Net Worth, this makes for a net worth of $20 million for the Big Bang alum. While she appeared as the strange and inscrutable neuroscientist Dr. Amy Farrah Fowler on more than 200 episodes of The Big Bang Theory, Maya Bialik was not an original cast member. She joined the show in season 4 after a brief appearance at the end of the third season, previously best known for portraying the title role on iconic 90s teen sitcom Blossom. Bialik's initial salary on Big Bang was in the neighborhood of $200,000 per episode, according to Variety. In 2017, thanks to long Longer serving main cast members taking a pay cut of $100,000 each, Bialik and Melissa Rauch saw their quote sort of $450,000 per episode. The real money in entertainment, apart from network sitcom money, is in owning the content. Bialik took that path with Sad Clown Productions. Formed in 2019, according to Deadline, she quickly made a deal with major television distributor Warner Brothers TV Group. That arrangement ultimately led to the development of the Fox sitcom Call Me Cat. The show earned a second season renewal in May 2021, according to TV Line, bringing Bialik paychecks as both star and producer. Like her Big Bang character, Bialik is a neuroscientist in real life, which came in handy in 2021 when she signed a deal to be the paid celebrity spokesperson for Nareva, a line of brain health supplements. With her acting, producing, and commercial endeavors, Bialik has a lot of assets and money in the bank. According to Celebrity Net Worth, she's worth about $25 million. When The Big Bang Theory premiered, Kunal Nair was the least known original cast member, but quickly established himself as a vital part of the success of the show, portraying shy astrophysicist Raj Kuthrapali. Initially, Nair earned $25,000 an episode, according to Deadline. In 2010, that per-installment salary was increased substantially to $75,000. Beginning with the eighth season of The Big Bang Theory in 2015, according to Forbes, he earned $1 million per her episode. That figure fell a bit when Nayer and some of his fellow cast members parted with part of their own salaries so co-stars Mayim Bialik and Melissa Rauch could enjoy a pay raise. In 2019, Nayer purchased a 7,100-square-foot Tudor mansion in the Hancock Park area of LA, according to the Los Angeles Times. Listed at a pricey $8 million, he got it for a steal at $7.5 million. The following year, the Los Angeles Times reported he unloaded his previous home, a Hollywood Hills estate, for just under $4 million. All that makes for a sizable fortune, as do other lucrative show business opportunities, like Nair's voice acting role as Guy Diamond in two Trolls films. Add it all up, and according to Celebrity Net Worth, Nair's net worth sits at $45 million.
The closest thing early The Big Bang Theory had to a villain was Howard Wolowitz, an aerospace engineer who thinks he's the universe's gift to women. Despite living with his mother and crudely hitting on any female human he encounters, a recognizable face from TV comedies like Mad TV and Reno 911, Simon Helberg hit the jackpot when he signed on to play Howard. His original Big Bang salary was around $40,000 per episode, according to Deadline. In 2010, he renegotiated his contract and got a raise to $100,000 per episode. By the final years of Big Bang, Helberg was earning $1 million per episode, according to Forbes. But as Variety noted, that amount was eventually cut a bit to help fund a raise for co-stars Mayim Bialik and Melissa Rauch. That not-so-shabby salary has gone toward a $6.87 million home in Los Feliz. Helberg has been the most successful cast member of The Big Bang Theory when it comes to branching out into movie roles like Rabbi Scott in the Oscar-nominated A Serious Man, a Golden Globe-nominated role in Florence Foster Jenkins, and Quinn in the rom-com Will Never Have Paris, which he also wrote, co-directed, and produced. With his wife Jocelyn Town, Helberg helps make content via their production company, Wild Line Entertainment. All those ventures add up, and they add up nicely. According to Celebrity Net Worth, Helberg's net worth totals $45 million. In 2007, Johnny Galecki, a decade removed from his role as lovable loser David Healy on Roseanne, returned to TV with The Big Bang Theory, portraying astrophysicist and Sheldon's extremely patient roommate Leonard Hofstadter. In 2014, Galecki negotiated a new contract with CBS, which had just issued a three-season renewal for the show, according to The Hollywood Reporter. At the time, Big Bang was the most-watched comedy on the most-watched network, meaning Galecki could ask for and receive $1 million per episode for the 8th, 9th, and 10th seasons. That was a significant jump from his already substantial per-episode rate of $350,000. The actor's pay dropped to $900,000 an episode in the final two years of The Big Bang Theory because he and his co-stars took a cut to help give co-stars Melissa Rauch and Mayim Bialik a raise. Between his Big Bang earnings, reruns of his hit shows, and his real estate holdings, it all adds up. According to Celebrity Net Worth, Galecki boasts financial assets of around $100 million. Probably the most familiar face on The Big Bang Theory when the show premiered in 2007 was Kaylee Cuoco, a veteran of long-running hits, Eight Simple Rules, and Charmed. When the show began, she earned about $60,000 per episode to play Penny, a waitress and aspiring actress who moves in across the hall from Sheldon and Leonard. According to Deadline, a contract renegotiation in 2010 led to a raise of around $200,000 for each episode, with incremental bumps, ending with Cuoco making $350,000 per episode by 2014. At that point, CBS gave Cuoco another raise, and according to The Hollywood Reporter, she earned $1 million per episode for seasons 8, 9, and 10 of the show. In the two seasons after that, Cuoco took home $900,000. Like her fellow original castmates, she took a pay cut to raise the salaries of co-stars Mayim Bialik and Melissa Rauch. Cuoco rakes in millions from Big Bang reruns, and her other TV appearances have proven lucrative too. Endorsement deals with Priceline and Toyota netted her $2 million in 2013 alone, according to Forbes. Since Big Bang ended in 2019, Cuoco has made even more money. She sold a home in Tarzana, California for $3.95 million, according to the Los Angeles Times, and as Deadline reported, launched a pact between her production company, Yes Norman, and Warner Brothers TV Group. As a producer, she bought the rights to the novel The Flight Attendant and then produced and starred in the adaptation for HBO Max. All told, Cuoco's net worth, according to Celebrity Net Worth, is about $100 million. Perhaps it's not so surprising that the richest former cast member of The Big Bang Theory is the show's central character, breakout star, and four-time Emmy Award winner. Jim Parsons brought nuance, warmth, and humor to the character of Caltech theoretical physicist Sheldon Cooper, an otherwise rude, idiosyncratic, stubborn, and generational genius. Do you realize what this means? <laughs> All I need is a healthy ovum and I can grow my own Leonard Nimoy! <laughs> 
Little known before Big Bang, Parsons soon became the face of the show as it skyrocketed in popularity. In 2010, he was given a bigger piece of the money Big Bang generated for CBS and producer Warner Brothers, negotiating a raise from $60,000 per episode in season 3 all the way up to $350,000 per episode by season 7, according to Deadline. Along with a bigger weekly paycheck, he also secured 0.25% of the show's back-end profits, which amounted to no less than $1 million a year. In the latter years of Big Bang, Parsons earned $1 million for each and every episode, according to the New York Times. But of course, Parsons' fortunes didn't stop there. Add in all his other ventures, including work producing and narrating the Big Bang spin-off Young Sheldon, and the actor is still earning big money, both on the hit show and off. According to Celebrity Net Worth, Parsons is worth $160 million. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite TV stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.